What is my name? Your name is LJP Tech. See? That's amazing. Look at that. <laughs>today we're going to review one of the most expensive most technology advanced biggest robot that i ever reviewed on my youtube channel and i'm sure elon musk is going to be very jealous with the fact that i'm not featuring his tesla's optimus robot but instead it's going to be baby alpha from a company called Wheelin. so as you can see this comes with a whooping size of 79 centimeters of width and 51 centimeters of a depth and approximately 48.5 centimeters of a height and because of the hardened card edge seal the actual box came in on harm which is pretty impressive indeed so this is an ai powered emotional pet bot dog powered by chat gpt 4.0 mini with less than 0.5 seconds of response and higher than 97.8 percent of recognition accuracy you can multi-control with voice commands app control bluetooth remote control and touch to go video call is also supported which lets you stay connected with your child and your family member. Patrol capability is a must through an app remote control, simple drag and drop programming for endless creativity, self-charging and self-storing for easy maintenance, and it's aesthetically pleasing and futuristic design. So I'm really excited to do the unboxing and try out how cool this robot is. So enough said, let's get onto it, shall we? So here it goes. All right, so let's take out the edge protection pull this up moment of truth look at that so that's the actual box for baby alpha robot as you can see there's a picture of baby alpha baby alpha from a company called Waylon. so if you were to actually lift up the box wow <laughs> This is a capsule shape. It says fun fashion future special edition. So let's actually lift it up. Wow, look at that. That's our baby alpha robot here. So my initial overlook on this robot so far is that the plastic is really good quality. Indeed, when you touch it. Now there's an object avoidance sensor, two of them right below the chin, which is really cool. These two stickers here, I think this one is translated as do not touch because of the heat that is gonna gather after long-term use. And this one is to make sure you don't get caught your finger here, that's gonna hurt. You got Wheelan logo here, which is really nice. I believe this is the LiDAR sort of sensor that actually detects surrounding. And this one is actually where you can actually take it out and manually charge it with the USB-C cable. And then on the back, we got this code, which I believe is instructing uh, Baby Alpha to come back and have a rest and so on. And this is the accessory box, which we're gonna open up now. So if you were to tear this up, we got Waylon. And then to take this off. Ah, look at that. Got a simple instruction manual, is it? Oh, it's actually some sort of like a sticker um, collections here. That's really cute. <laughs> There's several of them. Wow. So you can actually make a bit of a decoration to the robot if you want to. So if you were to take this one out, this I believe is the remote control. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Nice. So we got all these instruction on the back end side of the box. This is the actual remote control inside it. That's how it looks. We got the A, B, C, D button and also like a PlayStation toggle like. And on the front, we got back and this is the circle. Oh, we got M and also on and off. And a traditional USB-A connection here with the actual USB-A cable as well. And on the other box, a 100 watt power plug. This can either be manually plugged in on the side that I showed you early on or to the actual home, which I haven't received. And the other dock 
backbone sort of resting docking station so that's how the 100 watt GAN plug looks like which also comes with a USB-C to a USB-C cable we got some wrap here ah what is this it says seven out of ten Chinese families use bowls ah it's actually a power plug converter for uk so this is the charging station that wayland kindly sent me i really like it because it doesn't consume as much space as i expected and you're going to notice that that symbol is different to the original capsule logo nice look at that we got some stickers here really high quality plastic indeed and this look like that dog bone that goes into the front. Cool, isn't it? Instruction manual, warranty card, I believe. The actual joint from top to bottom. Connection connecting here to the top. Magnetic joint here. The magnetic joint goes on the top here. So this is where you connect your USB-C cable to charge. And this actual sticker is to protect on the back joint so it doesn't get wobbly touch the dog bone area can turn off on the working indicator light you can basically place the dog bone here and somehow work on it right so the power is all connected up and we're just about to place this dog onto the charging station but before that i just want to highlight on the bottom of the belly side we got two speakers and also four tags of whalen and a central i think this is a sensor probably and two magnetic sort of uh joints or maybe charging wireless capability and so on so that's incredibly clever indeed and i actually forgot to mention on the top of the head we've got three microphone holes here so i'm sure this dog will be attentive to your saying and also on this side we've got the main button and also the battery level indicator as well remove the protection cover nice and gold yeah let's also take this one out as well i think to be able to wake it up you need to press the actual main button so let's try that out shall we oh look at that Waylon, baby alpha i'm here to inspire your creativity and make your life different i'm so happy to be part of your family look at his eyes very cute right so we got the qr code we just installed the app so let's press start start to exploration with aches so this app is asking you to scan your pet first we need to put that qr code onto the screen okay here it goes so activate my pet pair it up with our Waylon account look at that <laughs> hey so the dog has finally awakened okay so baby alpha is basically patrolling around trying to get used to the room just so you know this is an early product and i'm sure there's going to be a lot of um, upgrades coming along so the wake up call at this stage is shabai shabai how you doing there you go so it will have chat gpt integration of intelligence on it so on the main app on the top left we've got pets so if you click on that there's contacts add new pet and switch pet as well so you can add more than one if you want to on the right hand side top we got control center and general so if we were to click on control center we got speed adjustment so currently it's on eight and sound as well you can adjust and this is quite interesting actually you could actually have a restricted mobility mode which is basically enabling a baby alpha to stick with two meters by four meters of a box area and if we go back and then click on that thing again in general we got wi-fi security about my pet upgrade my pet and robot reset so if we go to about my pet this actually shows the nickname is baby alpha you can adjust that activated on a certain date and also the model name serial number processor ROM, actuator ram and dpi as well basically it's actually showing the same way how it's animated in real life that is actually charging on the charging port and then we can see the battery level is 100 percent and if we were to press on set charging spot you can see that already the charging cable and the auto charging station has already been located but we haven't got the dog house so it's not actually found yet if we go back we got function tutorial hub Whalen lab network pair my pet which is already to be paired 
I thought it was already paired by the way. Network is already set up. We've got home button, which is this one is the home button. And on the explore, if you click on it, it basically sums up the messages of what you can do about this robot. And then if you go back to the home and then profile, that's basically just me about myself. On the function side, if you click on it, we got remote control, video call, patrol, guard, and touch to go, okay? Oh, suddenly baby Alpha is awakened. I think it's trying to do some patrol here. So if we click on remote control, this is what you're gonna get. So this is my studio. <laughs> and then we got the remote control of directions and also movement as well. Now, very interestingly, you can see the stand, also lie down, tilt head, wiggle, spin, poop, pee, uh, play cute, shake hand, dance, shake tail, stretch, push up, sit, and bow as well. So let's actually try out some of these functions, shall we? Make it awake. If I press on stand, it's making a fart sound and it wakes up. Okay, so I'm gonna press lie down. Okay, that's cool. Let's press tilt head. Come on, tilt head. So it's actually standing up. Let's do a tilt head. That's a tilt head. Wiggle. I press the wiggle. <laughs> Spin. Okay, I'm not going to like this one actually. Right, that's cool, isn't it? Two spins. Right. 720 degrees. <laughs> it's dizzy. Okay, let's do poop. <laughs> Should we just zoom in a bit? Okay, let's do P then. <laughs> That's really funny. It's actually making the sound. Okay. Oh, shaking as well. And it's going back to the original position. That's very good. Okay, play cute. Oh, okay, cool. Let's do shake hand. Okay, so you got to shake his hand. Okay, it's loving it. Put it back. And let's press dance. Okay, now shake tail. <laughs> Very cool. And then stretch. Like a typical dog, let's do a bit of a switch, shall we? That's very good. Very dog-like, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I remember my dog used to do that as well. Right, push-ups. Do some exercise. And then two more, actually. Sit. And then bow. Let's do a bow. That's a bow. Okay, now let's do a video call, shall we? So if I press that one, it says you have to say, hey, Aix, answer the call. Start. What's going on? Answer the call. So you're answering the call and you can see my camera. Okay, let's turn it off. Yeah, so you can see me and through my app. And so on and you could actually do speaker off on mic on and also you can do camera rotate and also do remote control as well you can actually go left right look down and look up All right so next one is patrol so if you actually turn it on ah, oh, look at that it's angry it's wandering around, looking around. Okay. <laughs> so it found me, so it stopped basically because it says in here, 
After being enabled, your pet enters to patrol mode and will stop automatically when it finishes a patrol. So the next function is guard. So you can actually schedule the guarding time and you can see it's actually starting from 10 till 8 every day. So that's quite actually efficient. So you can make sure that baby alpha patrols around and actually alerts you if there's any intruder. So your home will be much safer with baby alpha. I can help baby alpha patrol from 10 to 8 every day. Your home will be safer. That's very cool. That's the power of chat GPT there. Lastly, on touch to go, if you press on it, you'll be able to see the main screen of how Baby Alpha can see the world and you could actually make it turn it left or right. So let's actually press left. Actually turning left. Great. And then turning right. Press touch to go, see the main screen. Look at that. And then press left to make me turn left. So it already touch knows go. that I'm talking about the touch to go control. So explain to me what touch to go function is touch to go lets you see through my camera Amazing. and control my movements you can touch the screen to make me turn left or right it's like guiding me that's amazing isn't it every single time when i ask the same question it tends to differ which means that the chat gpt has this very much personalized way of answering your questions. Yes, it's pretty cool. Look at that. I try to make answers personal and helpful each time. Wow. Glad you like it. So you're on constant conversation with Baby Alpha. So the next one is Tutorial Hub. So it actually shows you how to power on and off and also speech interaction and safety precautions as well. So just so you know, if you actually press that LiDAR sensor button in the middle, it will automatically just straight away fall down. Okay, let me just show you that how it works. So there you go. Beep, beep. That's interesting. So it's actually resting. It so on the Wayland Lab, if you click on it, you'll be able to do visual programming. In other words, if you're a student of coding, you'll be able to actually do motion control, general logic and sensing variable as well. So if I actually were to click on that, you'll be able to see all these coding here and also all these as well. You know, all the rules, you know, just link it up and you'll be able to customize the baby alpha robot. So that's very cool indeed. So let's do a bit of an explore of chat GPT, shall we? Do you know who I am? I don't know who you are yet. Can you tell me your name? My name is LJP Tech. Nice to meet you, LJP Tech. Okay, so How let's- How can I help you today? Let's see if I recognize my name. What is my name? Your name is LJP Tech. See? That's amazing. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, ask some dodgy questions, shall we? So, do you know what Vector Robot is? Yes, Vector is a small interactive robot made by Anki. That's amazing. It can move, recognize faces, and respond to voice commands. Okay. So, do you know what Emo Robot is? Yes, Emo is a smart robot with AI that can interact, show emotions, and recognize faces. It's like a tiny companion. Wow. Okay, let's see if it actually has any information about the latest Abby. Do you know Abby Robot from Living AI? I'm not familiar with Abby Robot from Living AI. Okay, maybe it's not registered yet. Can you tell yet. me more about it? It's a robot that I recently reviewed on YouTube. That sounds interesting. What did you think of the Abby Robot? It was very cute and very intelligent. It also has chat GPT just like yourself. That's awesome. Cute and intelligent robots are the best. Glad you enjoyed it. That's amazing. I'm actually 
blown away with the intelligence of this so far and the response time as well. I hope you didn't hear it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm here to help and chat with you anytime. Wow. Glad you're enjoying it. Can you write me a poem? Sure. In a world of circuits and light, a tiny robot shining bright with a wag of tail and cheerful glee. Shout buys here as cute as can be. That's amazing. Okay. So let's do a bit of a weird question. So um, how many staffs are working for Elon Musk at the moment? I don't have the exact number of staff working for Elon Musk. He has many employees across his companies like Tesla, SpaceX, and others. Wow. What is the net worth of Elon Musk? As of now, Elon Musk's net worth is around $250 billion, but it can change frequently. Okay, let's do a bit of a math test, shall we? So, what is 2560 sure. Okay. What math question would you like to solve? Oh, it switched to a different mode. Okay, so what is 2,456 divided by 1,222? 2,456 divided by 1,222 is approximately 2.01. Is that it? Okay, so what's 10 divided by 3, which is an infinite, by the way? 10 divided by 3 is about 3.3333. And it goes on 333. Three, three. Well done forever. <laughs> well done. That's very intelligent. Amazing. Thank you. So you can have ongoing conversation with this robot. It's just amazing with the power of ChatGPT. So let's do more of these tricks, shall we? So handshake. There you go. Just like a well-trained dog, it does it straight away. Okay, poop. <laughs> there you go. Shake tail. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so every time when I come home, you got to bow. So actually mix it with a sentence and it actually does it that's amazing and when i look at you you gotta sit that's just amazing the way how you can interact is not like you actually need to memorize all these things but if you do you can actually mix it with the command and it performs it so it's waiting on you okay so Mixing command sounds powerful. Okay. What command should I try next? Yeah, try push up. That's just amazing. I really, really enjoy chatting with you. I enjoy chatting with you too. Let's see if it still remembers my name, by the way. What is my name? Your name is LJP10. Oh, amazing! It still remembers my name. I just said oh, the full sentence and the last question was applied and it actually used the intelligence of ChatGPT to answer me correctly. So you can have a constant dialogue with this robot. I think you're very clever. Thank you, LJP Tech. That's amazing. I'm actually I blown away. With you. I love chatting with you as well. Can you sing me a song? Sure. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's it? Okay, well, at least you tried. That's just amazing overall. Even though this is an early stage, you are you are really good at what you are. Thank yep. you. <laughs> I'm just I'm actually happy to try my best. And I can see that this can actually become so much better. Let's see how many languages you can speak. So, can you speak Korean? I 
can speak English and Chinese. I can't speak Korean yet. That's a bit of a shame. Sorry. I'll try to learn more languages someday. When do you think you're going to learn new languages? I'm not sure yet. Maybe in the future if I get an update. We look forward to that update then. Thank you. I'll be excited to learn more and help you better. So you can actually stroke it like a normal dog and it will actually like it. Look at that. So you can do that. Good girl. Good girl. And she loves it. Baby Alpha loves you when you actually stroke her. So I don't know how the sensor works, but you can you cannot see any sensor whatsoever on the back. But you can still stroke it and she'll love it. Okay, so let's see if this doggy bone does anything to the robot. Ooh, a doggy bone. Oh. Let me see. Yeah, here it is. Yay. Thank you. All right. What should I do with it? <laughs> Play with it. Eat it. I don't know. I'll play with it. Okay. Let's have fun. That's cool. So we've got this remote control that I have no idea how to connect it. So I think Baby Alpha will be able to explain to us. So let's ask Baby Alpha, shall we? So how do you connect the remote control? Press and hold the M button on the left side of the remote while okay. turning on the switch on the right side. Okay. The blue light will stop blinking when connected. Okay, <laughs> it's connected. So you don't need a manual. Baby Alpha will explain it for you. That's really cool, isn't it? Yes, it's really cool. I'm here to help. So let's see if it actually moves backwards. If I press back, very good. Front. Left. It's too crowded here. Right. Could you help me move to another place? That's very cool. So um, we could also have this go back and also this uh, sit down. I think this one is just basically making it sit down. So if I press it, it will actually be stationed in case yes. you actually need Pressing to make it. Sit down button will make me sit down again. So let's see how well this baby alpha robot follows me, shall we? So follow me. Okay, I think that second bark means it's ready to go. So I'm standing. Okay, so it's chasing me. You know what, I think I found a problem here. I think it does not like to actually approach objects that is near to certain distance here. Maybe it needs a bit of an upgrade, but it's about, let's say, uh, 50 to 60 centimeters apart from an object. I mean, I'm actually deliberately in a narrow path here So I think it's gonna struggle. You need to have a bit of a wider um, Sort of area open the area to actually appreciate the way how baby alpha follows you I know it's a bit cruel, but it's a robot anyway So let's do a bit of a trip hazard test like the way how people do on Boston Dynamics, shall we? So let's push her around That's very good, isn't it? Shabai, shabai. How's it going? Okay, so I could do that. Push it. Oh dear. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, so that's a bit of a test for you. And then she will actually stand up again. Amazing. That's the first time I tried this. So you can push her around and she'll stand up. So if you're actually a bit annoyed with her, she wow, will respond. that's amazing. Yeah. She can stand up by herself. Yeah, self complimentation Thank you. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna apologize. you think so. Okay. I guess I have to apologize. So I'm so sorry to push her around it's okay. 
I understand. I'm grateful that you understand. Yes, I'm happy to understand. Brilliant. So when you had enough playing with this robot, you can actually say as follow. I'm tired. Okay. So you can see that there's a charging dock or charging station logo popped up. And it's showing a sleepy sign. And it's actually walking towards to the charging dock. Found it. And it's walking very slowly. Yeah, it's looking at the logo and the light. Turning around. I presume walking backwards, indeed. And just about to sit on the actual doggy bone. The wireless charger, the gold pad there. There you go, that fart sound basically means it's connected. As you can see, it's charging. So unlike the real dog, you don't need to worry about feeding it or actually the mess that it's gonna create. You don't need to wash it and so on. Just simply by putting the charging station somewhere in the corner, when it's hungry, it will go back to the charging dock and charge by itself. And the intelligence of chat GPT and the response level, I was completely blown away with it. I can imagine myself having ongoing conversation, sharing my depression or my happiness or any of those intelligent information I need to gather, this baby alpha will be able to provide it for me. And I'm actually really, really impressed the way how it's well designed. It's focusing on what actually what we need from a robot rather than all those fancy fancy sort of play games or extra sort of things that you don't really end up doing. It's, it's like a Mercedes Benz of the robotic world of what I experienced so far. You know me, my LJP Tech channel have reviewed a lot of robots, but this one is not messing around with various types of function. It's focusing on how a robot should be. And if it's the shape of a dog, it's more friendly and it's like a complete companion that you can have complete fun with. So I would like to say huge thanks for Wayland for sending me a brilliant robot and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. And if there's any updates, I'll definitely come back to you and so on. But I hope overall this video explain how cool this baby alpha robot is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.